little. Oh my god, Pretzel's so little. Are you the little boy? Hi, Buck. Have they ever escaped? Well, we let them out a lot. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because this is fenced in back here. Yeah. Well, this is Dolly's baby, and that's 18 months, or over 18 months. Look how little. I think he's littler than Dolly and Blanche. I think he's only 30 inches. Yeah, he's little. Are you going to be able to reach? Are you going to be able to reach to these big ladies? Look at, your ears are even tinier. Like, he's just smaller. Which, I asked my vet about that. I was like, you know, if the dad's bigger, or if the dad's smaller than Dolly and Blanche, like, will he be able to do the job? He was like, oh, yeah, they'll, they get it done. Oh, you're better than your lady counterparts about putting halters on. Come on. Do you want... Do you want to let Pretzel out or just? Uh, sure. Or, well, let's leave him in. I'll take Eli over here. Is he going to hee haw? Probably. Oh, no. He's getting upset, y'all. <laughs> Listen to the squeak. Your buddy is going to come stay with you. So their next door neighbor, Mr. Eli, is going to come hang out with Pretzel while Buck is gone. Hopefully he gets it done so fast. And then we're all good. Let me get the, all the windows open and stuff. Buck, we need you to be a good boy and hop up in there. Go hop up in there. Just pick up one of his front feet and like put it up. And then, cause he looked like he was trying to understand it. He said, no, no. I can go grab some stuff. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. Good boy. Yay. You did it. Good boy. Let me get this. You got to stay in there, buddy. I'll see you at home. It's When they're that little, it's actually more dangerous to tie them because all the ties are up high. and. When they're that little, they just, you just let them do what they want. Yeah. But, okay. Like, when we do foals, they just are loose. We don't tie foals or anything like that. All right. Well, you're following. Are y'all coming? I think I'm going to come. Okay. We'll see y'all there. Come on, buddy. You going to come? You just hop off. You can do it. Big jump. Come on. Big jump. <laughs> Honestly, if you just like get on the end of the lead rope, he'll he'll get out. Okay. Like he's not gonna want to stay in there. You can do it. Big jump. Woo! There you go. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go move Dolly and Blanche into the big pasture and put my goats up so that we can put him in there and let them share a fence row for a minute and get to smell on each other and stuff and maybe get the squeals out. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring the goats in here and put them up and then well, Bubbles, don't scream at me, come in here. And then I'm gonna let Dolly and Blanche out here so that I can put Buck in the smaller pen and they can share this fence line and like snip each other and all that good stuff before we actually let them meet. Come on. Go on, go on in. Oh, they see him. It's that easy. Okay, bring in the stallion. <laughs> they saw him. I don't think he oh, cared yeah. about them. Bring in the so, stallion. Look, new grass. I would, I would lead him up there and then unclip him and just let them, we'll let them be after that Ooh, for a little excuse bit. Excuse me, my big belly hit you. Come see these girls. 
So we're gonna lead him up here and then unclip him and we're just gonna let them talk to each other for a minute. Oh, dollies. Have they met before? No. Well, yeah, maybe for like a second. Oh no. Oh, oh no. They broke out. Come here. Do you think he'll have an issue with them? He was with goats, but I don't know. <laughs> well, if you don't think he'll have an issue with them, just let him be. It's okay. I just don't want him to go They broke after out. <laughs> they broke out of jail. Girls. He, he hasn't put his ears back once. I'm not worried about him. Okay. <laughs> if it works with Dolly, then Buck is going to be Pretzel's stepdad. You want to see the girls? All right, girls, come here. Come here. Come on. Get. Leave. All right, now we exit because... Could get... Get ranchy. Could get wild. <laughs> All right, ladies. What you think? Oh, hi, Bella. I feel like he's gonna be nervous of them. Blanche is tailing his booty. We just sent this little boy in. Oh go, my goodness. Becky, go. Go, Becky, go. Oh. <clears throat> Buck, are you gonna get interested? <laughs> The ladies are like, finally, a man. And he's like, I don't know what you want from me. See, the girls are all about him. Oh, <laughs> Lord, Buck. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly. Passing. They dropped her off and when, or when they dropped him off. Oh. Ooh. Dolly. Dolly. Did you see how he just slowly turned his head yeah. instead of running away? He could literally <laughs> run away. Here's the thing too. If they just came out, then they're not going to be as like receptive as if they were like ovulating. Yeah. We're just going to kind of watch how this happens. Now, I, we're not doing ultrasounds like we do with the mares where we like see what, oh dang it. I did it again. Hold on. At least y'all know they get clean water. You know, with the mares, we're constantly checking them because we have to order the semen and we have to be timed perfectly correctly so that when we get the semen, we breed them, that they ovulate right after that. Whereas right now, we're not checking them for ovulation. We're not checking them for follicle size. We're not, they're not on any medications. This is just like letting it be done like a live covering. And so I've seen Dolly acting in heat more so than Blanche. And if, if she just went out of heat, then that could explain her not like being super receptive of him. And that could also explain him not being super all about her if she's not in heat and his testosterone isn't telling him to go do the deed. But uh, it might be best if they just kind of get used to each other without doing the deed at first. And then when they come back into heat, they know each other, if you know what I mean. Well, the ladies said, see you later, and left, and he's over here hanging out. So we're just gonna keep an eye on them really closely for the rest of today. It's the standoff. Oh, goodness, oh, goodness. <laughs> so I don't know if y'all remember, I've used the pet cube way before right now. It's great for keeping an eye on your pets when you're away, when you're at work, but I also upgraded a little bit and got the Pet Cube Bites 2, which is the camera that also sends your dogs treats. You can talk to your animals. Um, it's like a whole new level of coolness. So while I still love the OG Pet Cube Cam, I'm really excited about the Pet Cube Bites 2. So let's go set it up and see what Winnie and Kimmy think of it. All right, so it's really, cool is you can either set treats to go off at certain times per day. You can say how many treats you want your dog or animal to have in the time that it sends it out. Or if you're sitting at work or you're out of town and you're checking in, you can actually send treats to your animal. So I'm going to go ahead and take this little bone and just send a treat out. So then watch. So the Pet Cube Cam and the Pet Cube Bites 2 have about the same view from their camera. Look at them, they're already like setting up 
for the treats. <laughs> they know they know it's coming by now. But you load it up, you can set a timer, you can do it yourself by actually sending treats to them. You can talk to them through the microphone if you don't wanna to talk to them but you wanna hear what's going on. You can hear, there's all kinds of settings you can do. So this is like a whole other level of pet watching. So obviously Kimmy and Winnie are fans. They're gonna be getting a whole lot more treats now from now on. But I'm, I'm getting ideas here, looking at it about possibly using it to spy on some certain donkeys that were wanting to make sure do the deed. So I'm getting ideas with the cam. I do have a discount code with PetCube. So if you wanna go shop, here's the link. Use the discount code below. I also have it linked in the description. So go shop, go check it out. Let me know if you've already used PetCube, how you love it. Possibly we'll be catching some interesting video on it, but let's go check on poor Buck. She's like, I'm just gonna sit back and watch. Oh, what are Dolly and Blanche doing? They were just getting mad at each other. Oh, <gasps> fake out. See, here's the thing. If he was truly bothered, he could run away. Yeah. The little one. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Look at it. He's trying to sniff back there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Dolly, don't come ruin oh. it. <laughs> the ruiner. The ultimate cock blocker. He's so much louder than them. They don't talk that much. You are so talkative. You're so talkative. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm in the dog fence right now. Well, it seems that they're chill together. We have enough space that if anyone is like feeling like they don't want to hang out, they have space to get away from each other. They've been fine. I will say every single one of them has thrown some kicks. No one is being the one beat up the entire time. It's like he's thrown kicks, the girls have thrown kicks. What I've noticed so far is that Dolly seems receptive of hanging out. No, not Dolly. Blanche seems receptive of hanging out with Buck. I've seen them sniffing. And as soon as they start sniffing, Dolly's like, uh-uh. So I'm curious that maybe Dolly has like gone out of heat and Blanche is coming into heat. I'm not sure. I'm like kind of new to this live covering donkeys thing. I'm an AI horse breeder here. So if anyone has any like knowledge to share about the signs of when they're the most receptive, if this looked like it was a successful meeting, I would love to hear. Um, but all I can really say is stay tuned because we're gonna kind of watch them. We're gonna do some updates. Hopefully they get to be in lovey-dovey here soon. And then in about two months, we'll check them and hopefully there's little babies in their tummies. So like, subscribe, comment. Those things help me out so much and I'll see you on the next video.